This is Mel from Bengal Whisper. Welcome to Bengal Whisper. Hi, this is Mel from Bengal Whisper. Today I'm going to talk about cabbage. So while talking about cabbage, I just remember a story. And this story, this was a true story. There was a grandma in the village and the grandma used to tell the story to everyone so I heard it from the grandma. Once grandma was very very sick and it was due to some kind of medicine she took or some kind of thoughts were given to her which gave her adverse effect and she developed autoimmune disorder so she was not being able to eat anything so grandmother went to all kinds of modern doctors and had all kinds of tests done on her and to begin with nobody can find out what was wrong with her they just told her she had developed allergy to every food and medicine on the face of the earth so she had to accept this reality and then after some time she was kind of really hesitant to go to doctors anymore because she didn't have the answer to her problem so she took the matter on her own hands and she started treating herself through food and medicine food she needed the food as her medicine the foods and herbs so she just took the advice from the religious books where it said let food be thy medicine so she first started finding out what made her sick and during her this writing out time she found out that she could not eat any kind of animal products like meat egg fish or dairy product like milk yogurt cheese she could not eat them whenever she ate them she felt very tired sleepy and sick and then she found out that she could not eat any kind of sugar whenever she ate sugar she felt very sick so she started the eliminating elimination diet where she eliminated the animal products eliminated the sugar and then she eliminated all kinds of gluten like rye barley oat joe all kinds of oatmeal wheat all kinds of gluten in her diet so she stopped eating meat she stopped eating um, the dairy products she eliminated and gluten and sugar so after that what was left was fruits and vegetables so even with the vegetables she had some allergy to the nightshade vegetable like um, nightshade vegetables like eggplant potatoes and tomatoes uh, so when she ate the nightshade vegetable they gave her a lot of pain in her body so she couldn't eat them so during this food allergy uh, her food allergy she also found out that if she ate a certain food which caused inflammation in her body that also gave her serious pain so basically she was left with fruits and vegetables and brown rice and she took some herbal cheese and these are the things she was eating so she would eat mainly cabbage so this today's video is on cabbage so what healed her 
and what she was able to eat and by eating um, those foods she lived, she lived a happy healthy life of another 50 years so what she ate mainly was nuts and seeds fruits and vegetables and brown rice and she drank coconut milk so these were her basic uh, diet and she ate a lot of greens and one of the greens was the cabbage cabbage was her main diet cabbage and brown rice that was her main diet so cabbage basically healed her so this video is on cabbage so this people used to call her cabbage lady once she found out about her all this problem then she bought a little piece of land about an acre and she built a beautiful small mud house and surrounded by cabbage field and she had lots of cabbages and all other kinds of fruits vegetable trees she had lots of apple trees, berry trees, and mango, and guava, papaya. So she had quite a few different fruits uh, tree. And now this is about India, so the weather is hot, so she could grow many, many other uh, fruits and vegetables which are suited for the hot, humid weather. So her daily routine started with getting up in the morning and taking care of her garden and her garden gave her lots of fruits and vegetables and she will eat them throughout the day and she sold many of them that gave her provided her with little cash that she needed so everything else was on the land she had on the land, she had her mud house and she had her beautiful garden so everything was available on the mud land. Now the cabbage benefits. The cabbage is very very good for stomach, very good for ulcer or healing the stomach, healing the gut lining with cabbage soup, cabbage juice or cabbage curries and heal the gut lining and the stomach and the ulcer it's very calming it uh, heals food allergies so cabbage uh, is anti-aging and it's a detoxifier for the liver cabbage has vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin C and it strengthens our immune system so usually it's been found that whenever people have this food allergies they have a very weakened immune system their immune system is very weak so that's why they develop the food allergy Cabbage has vitamin A and D, which is good for the skin, eye, body, and strengthen the immune system. And it keeps the skin shiny and healthy. Cabbage protects the skin from the sun's damaging effect the, from the ultraviolet rays. Cabbage can give us beautiful, flawless skin. Now, if we uh, take the cabbage leaves and we grind it and make sort of like a paste and apply it to our face daily, then we will have very beautiful flawless skin. Apply, keep it for 30 minutes and wash it off. So beautiful flawless skin, it good for our skin and produces Help the skin produce collagen so keep the skin beautiful, clean, clear, and healthy. And cabbage 
pack if you make it and put it somewhere that any body organ which is pain so this cabbage pack will take up the pain for osteoporosis osteoarthritis pain and drinking cabbage juice helps the stomach from uh, ulcer cabbage juice detoxifies the body it takes out the toxins out of the body so the body and the skin becomes very beautiful cabbage juice not only good for the stomach body and the beauty is very good for hair growth somebody makes cabbage juice and put it on the hair with aloe vera juice then the hair or with cucumber juice hair becomes very good it grows so make the juice at night time then put it massage it on the skull and cover the hair with a towel and next morning wash it with simple water or just rice water cabbage is really great for the gums and teeth so chewing on cabbage leaf is very good for the gums and teeth cabbage as i told you full of vitamin a all the antioxidants and vitamin a encourages hair growth you can mix cabbage juice with lemon juice or 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 uh, uh, you can do cucumber juice, lemon juice, and cabbage juice, three of them together, that will be very good. Massage cabbage juice, lemon juice, cucumber juice on the scalp and leave it overnight. Next morning, just wash it with plain water, no need for soap and shampoos or harmful things. Plain water will make the hair grow and have the nutrition. So cabbage juice really gives soft, silky, shiny, smooth hair and gives flawless skin for the face and it's really great for the stomach, it's good for the blood pressure, cholesterol and uh, blood sugar and also good for cancer, it stops the cancer cell from growing because of this effects on it has antioxidant properties and bioflavonoid so the cabbage has a lot of vitamin c and d strengthens the immune system this can be inflammatory so great for the people with osteoarthritis osteoporosis not only eating it internally helps also they can make a uh, paste and put it on the affected area like knee or something at night time and keep it overnight that will get rid of the pain cabbage prevents alzheimer it has a lot of vitamin a so cabbage is good for people with peptic ulcer alzheimer any kind of stomach related problem as you know our stomach is our second brain so if we have problem in the stomach and digestion then we're hungry to have problem with the brain so it's good for digestion elimination heals the stomach the gut lining cabbage is very good for heart and diabetics it gives a strong bone and teeth and has a lot of antioxidants. So as you can see, most of the fruits, vegetables, as I am doing about them, learning about them, they all are really amazing. And they are the true healer, as it says, less food dimension. It is so true because food really heals and we need to just trust in it and grow and eat it religiously, eat the good foods and the bad foods. So the grandma was right that once she changed her diet and she started eating all the good food and growing it and taking special care of her garden and her food kept her physically and mentally good for 
next 50 years she lived over 90 and she lived a good happy healthy enjoyable life so this is the story of cabbage and i really love cabbage so cabbage is an awesome vegetable just don't boil it too much then it smells just chop it thinly and if you're going to make a soup just put some spices and cook it and put some fan in the window so it gets rid of the smell the smell goes outside and don't let the cabbage leaves rot because then the smell so if you can just deal with the smell then it has awesome properties to heal the gut and give you beautiful skin beautiful hair and it keeps a happy mood as you know when your health is good your mood is good so thank you don't forget to like subscribe comment and share this video and i will see you with many many more thank you bye, -bye. hi thank you so so much for watching my videos don't forget to like subscribe